folks, after saying I wasn't going to jailbreak for the foreseeable future, I went ahead and jailbroke because Elias Limnios, the guy who developed Callbar, sent me a brand new jailbreak tweak called Answering Machine, and it is really, really cool. Let me show you how this works here. So once it's enabled, all you need to do is set up a greeting. You can set up a default greeting or a custom greeting. Right now, we're gonna set up a default greeting using a synthesized voice. You can also choose when answering machine will pick up. So I set it to about 6.6 .6 seconds. You can choose your speech language, your speech voice, dynamic greetings, which is really cool. So you can basically, uh, depending on the time of day, have different sayings and you can customize those sayings. So you can say good afternoon, good morning, etc. So you can go down here and customize that greeting text using some of the variables. There's a name variable and there's a greeting variable. I'll just add the greeting variable here. Let's put that in here. You can see it turn blue and save it like that. All right, so that's pretty much all there is to it. If you wanna change it, you can just tap change default greeting. You can delete it, of course. But let's mosey on over to our notification section. Of course, you have various notification options here, but the real interesting thing in this section is voice recognition. Similar to iOS 10's voicemail dictation, you can have your voicemails dictated when using Answering Machine, and it will actually appear in your notification banner when those come in. And then you have remote commands. This is incredibly awesome. So basically, this allows you, when you set a passcode, you can dial your voicemail, dial into your voicemail, Use touch tone to do things like request location, uh, remote respring, request a reboot, and even if you're offline, if you don't have a data connection, either Wi-Fi or cellular, as long as you have a phone connection, you can execute those commands, even sending your location to your phone when it's offline from a data perspective. So let's test out Answering Machine. Hey, when you get this message, call me back. Thanks. So that was the default catch-all greeting with the synthesized voice. And here's your notification for the message I just left. You see the dictated text in the banner, and you can, of course, tap on that to open up Answering Machine's interface here. Hey, when you get this message, call me back. Thanks. So you can play it back like that. You can also view the dictation by tapping the dictation button, and that uses Apple's own dictation uh, to present that. So it's not going to be perfect, but it's pretty good. If the person speaks clearly, you can share with other applications, etc. Now we're going to add a per contact greeting here. So this is based on a contact that we select. And I'm going to actually record my own greeting. After I change the answer threshold, just tap the red button. Hey, Jeff, sorry, I missed your call. I'll call you back as soon as I get this message. Thanks. Okay, let's play that back. Hey, Jeff, sorry, I missed your call. I'll call you back as soon as I get this message. Thanks. All right, so our custom greeting is set up. Let's test it out. So I declined the call so it picks up. Hey Jeff, sorry I missed your call. I'll call you back as soon as I get this message. Thanks. Hey there. Just testing out answering machine. And it's really cool. You even got a little skeuomorphism going on. You can even listen without answering, so you can kind of screen the voicemails as they're being left, just like, just like, this. like, this, like this. And you can even pick up the phone call uh, while they're leaving a voice message. So if, you, if it's someone that's leaving a message, you want to talk to them immediately, you can just press talk like this and uh, start talking to them. Now, if you have the use on do not disturb feature enabled and do not disturb is enabled, then anytime you receive a phone call, answering your machine will automatically intercept the call. But here's what's really cool. Please enter your passcode and press pound. You can manage your messages from a remote phone using touch tone. But it doesn't stop there. You can even send your phone's location to a remote phone using touch tone. 
You can even respring like this. Leave us a thumbs up if you appreciated this video and let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section. This is Jeff with 9to5Mac.